Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Well, at last, the wait is over. At long last, the brand new BMW R1300GS is here. Well, almost, I'm very excited to say that BMW have told us that on Thursday the 28th of September, they are going to officially reveal full details of the brand new BMW R1300 and 1400 GS. It's going to be happen at 4 o'clock UK time or 5 o'clock Central European time. Thanks to a recent leak on the internet, here's a picture of what the bike might look like from an aesthetic point of view. And I have to say, if this is a genuine picture, and it looks like it's a genuine picture to me, then I think BMW have come up with an absolute corker. So being a long-term owner and huge fan of the GS, uh, I'm, I don't think I've ever been as uh, excited as an upcoming bike launch as I am of this one. And you're probably the same as me. So what can we expect on the new bike? So I think there are a few things we can definitely assume are going to be on the new bike. First off, I would eat my hat if a radar cruise control technology isn't on board the bike. If we look at these uh, spy shots from the front of the bike, there's like a flat plate underneath the star-shaped running lights, which I think look pretty cool. Uh, and uh, underneath there is where the radar is going to live. Uh, I suspect along with uh, cruise control, radar control, cruise control, we'll also get uh, mirror blind spot monitoring as well. These are features that we've seen uh, on other bikes, notably the Ducati Multistrada, the Triumph, Tiger 1200 have already got those features so uh, definitely I think the BMW is going to be getting those and maybe some sort of collision avoidance as well. Another thing I think we can almost guarantee will be there is some sort of suspension lowering technology. Again, some other bikes have already got this, notably again, the Multistrada and the Triumph Explorer, but also the Harley-Davidson Pan America that I recently rode as well. Uh, the difference between those are the Harley-Davidson system is entirely automatic, whereas on the Triumph and the Ducati, there is some manual intervention involved. I think in the case of the new BMW, it's likely it's going to be automatic. I don't know if you remember, but a few weeks ago in MCN, there was an article about some new technology that BMW were introducing, which did exactly that, the same sort of auto lowering that you see on the Harley Davidson. Uh, and BMW said that that was gonna be revealed on a new bike very soon. So if that ain't the BMW GS, I don't know what it is. So expect some suspension lowering technology on the new bike, which for me as a shorty is really a good thing. We can see clearly from the spy shots that the old tubular frame has disappeared. Uh, that was a feature of GS's for you know years gone by, but they've now swapped that out in favour of a more, well, it's not a conventional frame because they're using the engine by the looks of it as a stress member, something we first saw back on the old Ducati Panigale. But that's got to be a good thing. It still looks quite uh, cool, I think, on the new bike, if these spy shots are be believed. And, uh, of course, that probably also means some weight savings. Always a good thing on a heavy bike like this. The new engine capacity of the bike, around about 1300cc, bringing the bike uh, up a little bit. Probably more to do with uh, keeping in step with the regulations, things like emissions and so on, than making the bike more powerful. Although I have seen some figures batting around, around about the 140, 145 brake horsepower figure, which would the, bring the bike more in line with its competitors. Now we're also expecting uh, at least two models to be announced uh, on the Thursday announcements. The R1300 GS, which is basically the replacement for the standard bike that we see at the moment, and then the R1400 GS. Now that's basically going to be the replacement for what we now know as the GS Adventure. Although it's called the R1400, it'll still have the same 1300cc uh, engine, but more likely have a bigger uh, fuel tank as we see now in the GSA, maybe spotlights, um, maybe some different panniers, that sort of thing. Uh, so equivalent to the GSA. And there's also rumour that there might might be another more road focused GT type bike and that might be the one that we see here in the fancy paintwork uh, which again to say more, more road focus less for people that want to go off road so keep your eyes peeled there might be even more than the two models that we're expecting. So a difficult line for BMW to tread then with this new model, which is so important to the BMW uh, Motorrad brand, essentially. I mean, this is the best-selling bike that they have. In fact, it's the best-selling bike, uh, I think, above 650cc in all of Europe for pr pretty much the last 10 years. So they cannot afford to muff it up. They don't want to upset existing fans like myself, but at the same time, they want to bring the bike, of course, up to date to be, uh, well, ahead of the competitors. And uh, from what I've seen, I think there's a good chance they're going to do that. So there we go. This was literally a holding video to let you know that I won't be published and according to my usual schedule this Wednesday but instead I'll be holding off until after that announcement on Thursday when I'll bring you a sort of a reaction a first look video uh, looking at what we've actually heard from the horse's mouth from BMW on Thursday are there going to be any, any surprises in there good or bad uh, and uh, just really see what we think as a first look on the bike so stick around stay tuned do hit subscribe on the channel if you haven't done so already and uh, I'll see you again on Thursday for a discussion about what we've actually seen on the new bike so I look forward to speaking to you then stick any comments below uh, with regard to anything you think I might have missed or any predictions you've got for what the new bike's got. Right, speak to you on Thursday.